Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Creating a mapping with Kafka source and HDFS target. Informatica Big Data Streaming enables continuous event processing of unbounded big data. A restaurant uses BDS to get customer insights. They use BDS to ingest streaming customer data and store them in Hadoop file system for analysis. In this video, you will see how to use BDS for ingesting data and use HDFS data object as a target. This is the Informatica developer client. Let's first create a source data object. You need Kafka data object as a source. The next step is to select the messaging connection. In this window, select the Kafka connection. Click Add. A topic is a category to which records are published. Select the topic for this source. Click OK. Click Finish. You now have the Kafka source data object available in the physical data objects list. Let's go ahead and create a target data object. Create a new data object by selecting a complex file data object. Name the new data object. The access type is connection and the resource format is binary. Now, choose the HDFS connection. Click OK. Once you complete these steps, add a resource. Add a HDFS resource available in the list. Click OK. Click Finish. You can now see that the HDFS target complex data object is available in the physical data objects list. Now that the data objects are ready, we are all set to create and name the new mapping. Click Finish. Drag and drop the data object Kafka source to the mapping workspace. Select the read option. Click New Operation. You now need to select a topic. Click Add for the selected resources field. Select the topic as shown. Click OK. Click Finish. Now select the source data object and click the Properties tab. In General Properties, click the Physical Data Object link. Select the input source. Let us enable column projection. When you enable column projection, it displays the column details of the complex file source. The schema format that you select displays the format of the complex file data object. Schema displays the schema associated with the complex file. Click the column projection property. Select Enable Column Projection. Select the schema format as JSON and click Add Schema. Now select the customer JSON file that you need as a source. Now that the source is ready, let's drag and drop the physical data object HDFS target to the mapping workspace. For this, select the right option. Now click New Operation. Since we are writing the data to HDFS, click Add. Select the HDFS table here. Click OK. Click Finish. Click OK. You will again need to enable column projection for the target. In General Properties, click the Physical Data Object link. Click the Output HDFS object and click the Properties tab. Enable column projection for the target by selecting the customer JSON. Click the Data Object Operations tab. Select the Target Write object. 
In the Advanced tab, rename the file name. Auto link the fields. The mapping is now ready to be run. Select the Spark engine for execution. Select the Hadoop connection. The mapping is ready for validation and run. Right click the mapping workspace and click validate. Click OK. Once it is validated, right click the mapping workspace and click run mapping. Generate the streaming data and ensure that it is being written to the target. A shell script auto generates streaming data. Run the script so that the mapping ingests the streaming data and writes it to the target. Run the custom data generator SH script. Now validate if the data is being written to the HDFS target by running this command. Notice that the data has been written to the HDFS target. This concludes the video.